We are thrilled to welcome TV icon Scott Baio. You know him from all of his TV hits, and he's coming to Branson, guys, with his one-man show called How Did I Get Here? Good morning, Scott. Good morning. It's a pleasure to be with both of you. Yes. Thank you for coming to Branson. It is a wholesome little town. Lots of great entertainers come there, and we look forward to hearing all your story stories. How's your show going to go? How's it going to go? Um... It's, you know, basically it's a, it's kind of a, a retrospective of, uh, my career and, and my life and it. And it's, it's all done through self-deprecating humor, storytelling, uh, the people that, that support people that help me. You know, the, the thing about how did I get here, <clears throat> excuse me, is, you know, as you go through life, you don't you don't really recognize or remember the people that made your life go this way or this way. And somebody makes somebody makes a decision and your life changes completely. And it, it, it's a lot about that. <clears throat> Excuse me. But what what this really is, is a thank you to people that have watched any of my stuff over the past 45, 50 years. And that's the gist of it. That, that's why. That's why I'm doing this show, uh, because I've been doing it a long time, and everybody, you, me, everybody lives in their bubble, and you don't really understand or realize what maybe small effect you guys have on people, what I might have on people, and I just wanted to acknowledge uh, and thank people that have that have been that stuck with me over the years. So your show in Branson, you're going to start with a meet and greet before the show. Then you'll do the 90 minute show. Then a question and answer. Do you kind of start on your show? Do you start at the beginning, like at the beginning of your career, and kind of go through each TV show that people might be aware of, and, and kind of like different generations of fans that you have? It goes from birth <laughs> till now. <laughs> birth till now. Oh, good. And, it, and, and, and what it does is it is it sort of incorporates how I grew up and and those things in my neighborhood and in my childhood that pushed me or moved me in this direction mm -hmm. you know because I was I was just basically a boy running up and down the streets and playing ball and getting in a little bit of trouble and all of a sudden I'm in I'm in Hollywood making TV shows and how that all happened uh, it's kind of a kind of a um, an interesting story. I mean, it wasn't kind of supposed to be, but it just happened. Wow! I love that. So we're going to get to know you uh, and how you got to where you were going. Where did you grow up? In Brooklyn, New York. All right, there okay. we go. New York. Uh, that's so interesting. Is there, you know, doing this as long as you have and identified with so many roles? Like we said, Chachi, Charles in Charge, my personal favorite, Scott. I'm just going to say it. My brothers and I would sing that theme song every day. <laughs> I'm after sorry. I'm I sorry. love it. You know, and even, I got to fast forward to Bob Blah Blah because I loved right. you on Arrested Development. So, you know, you were recurring on that show just for like five or six episodes, but you're so memorable. Do you get asked, is there one question that the fans ask that is like consistent, like they always want to know this? I get probably more questions about Zapped. Oh, yes. A movie, a movie that I did in like 1980, 81, where the character had telekinesis and was able to, uh, with his mind, um, remove clothing from women. Oh, <laughs> I see and, why all, and, and, and guys come up to me all the time about that movie, and they just think, <laughs> my favorite movie, oh my God, I love it. You know, so um, I, I guess that movie, uh, the, the Bob Blah Blah thing, it, that, it was, the name was everything. Everything. Yeah. And, uh, you know, people, people come up to me about that. You know, it, you know honestly, you guys, it, it depends on how old you are. Yeah. You know what I mean? There's, there's certain generations that watch this show or this show or this show or this movie. So, um, you know, and, and thank, thank, thank God that I've covered a pretty wide um, audience. Absolutely. I think the best part of this is just going to be seriously to uh, the behind the scenes thing. We, we talk about yeah. that here. Like some of the things that happen when the cameras are not rolling are some of the most interesting things, you know? Yeah. And that's what a lot of this is. It's kind of pulling back the curtain and showing 
really how how things happen, how I got to be on Happy Days, how I got to be on Charles in Charge, how I got to be on Diagnosis Murder, how the how the um, uh, the, the Nick at Night show that I did called See That Run, mm -hmm. how that you know just just weird random kind of stuff and and people um, a lot of people think that it's easy or it's easy to do this it's, it, and it's kind of not uh, it's a very difficult it's a very it's a very very difficult business and um, and but but a great business yeah but but a fantastic business so okay one quick question before we run out of time do people want to know because i want to know you want to know i want to know is there a certain cast member over the years that's kind of like the person you keep in touch with the most is it somebody from happy days is it somebody from arrested development is it ron howard you know people want to know who you're closest with after all these years honestly i i don't people ask me that question and it's a, and it's a great question but the way it works is you do a show and then the show ends and then you go do another show and it's like moving. So if you live in one part of town, you have all these friends and then you move and you kind of keep in touch with them, but then you make new friends and you kind of live that life. But I, I would say that the person that, that I do keep in touch with a bit, uh, who was incredibly instrumental, uh, in my in my life and career, and and is a and is a uh, um, a very special guy for me is Henry Winkler. Oh, I we love, love him. hearing he that. He is he is a uh, a dear dear man, and I, I will forever love him for what he did for me, and uh, how he how he and I communicate now. He's he's a good guy, and we love so him too. So he is probably he's pretty, he's the guy that I. That I um, that I stay in touch with. Good the most. answer. All right, we didn't mention uh, Scott's going to be at the uh, Nashville Roadhouse Theater. Guys, you can go to NashvilleRoadhouse.com for tickets. Uh, this is August 26th and 27th. That's this weekend, so be mm -hmm. sure and get your tickets. It sounds like it's going to be so in, so wonderful. I just think the behind the scenes and really getting to know you and where you came from and. Uh, is so interesting. Yes, both shows are at 8 p.m. There's a meet and greet and question and answer session, which I think will be the best part of it and hearing those behind the scenes. Yeah. Scott, from two super fans, we thank you so much for your time you. and we can't wait to see you in Branson. I appreciate you guys. Thank you. Thank you so much. And by the way, yes, get tickets now. The shows are Friday and Saturday night. Starts at 8 o'clock at the Nashville Roadhouse Branson Star Theater. It's the one right behind the Olive Garden down the little hill. Yeah. If you hit the Olive Garden, Just go right go. by. Yeah, yeah. Just like, burp, burp, beep. I used to go through the Olive Garden parking yeah. lot to get there. It's a beautiful theater. It is. Yeah. Um, what I'm excited about his um, his agent was telling us they'll do a meet and greet before. Yeah. Do the 90 minute show, and then there's question and answers afterwards. I think that's fascinating. I I mean, there's so many questions I want to know about behind the set, behind the scenes of Happy yeah. Days. Yeah. You know, oh, of but, Happy Days. Yeah. yeah. And and he did mention Henry Winkler, Henry Winkler of course. Yeah. So many people that know Henry Winkler uh, love him. Uh, mm -hmm. Terry Bradshaw worked with him on a movie, and he, he brings him up. He, he sounds like a, an amazing guy. And what I love, too, is Ron Howard was the voice, the narrator on Arrested Development, who he worked with on Happy Days and brought Scott Bayo to play Bob Blah Blah, which is my favorite name of character ever. What is it? Bob Blah Blah. Bob Blah Blah. And he's a lawyer. And he's a lawyer. <laughs> oh, which is even better. Hello, I'm Bob Blah Blah. Hi, I'm Bob Blah. And I'm sorry, say that one more time, Jake. Yes, the Bob blah, 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 That's blog. too much for this brain on a wacky Wednesday. Yes, but guys, okay. Friday and Saturday, go see him. You will love it. Okay, don't go anywhere. It's so much more fun on Ozark's Fox AM right after this. Ready to reach for you.